the city of Walterboro has completed its first phase of a new pedestrian boardwalk through the wildlife sanctuary after years of dealing with millions of dollars in damage from tornadoes back in 2020. Anna Harris joins us live from the site, now located at South Jeffries Boulevard and Ivanhoe Road. How much did all of this cost, Anna? Well, Rob, this first phase cost $1.9 million, and that is not all. The city still has to work on another phase to make sure all of the boardwalk is repaired. And the cost of the first phase came from a variety of sources. Now, those include some insurance money that came from that tornado damage back in 2020. The 2022 Hospitality Tax Accommodation Tax Bond, a state grant from the SC Department of Parks, Recreation and Tourism, and money from the city's Friends of the Great Swamp Sanctuary Committee. Now, about 1400 feet of boardwalk and steel bridges cut through the Walterboro Wildlife Sanctuary for any visitors and locals to come out and experience nature and get some exercise. This will add to the, um, the Wildlife Center as the Wildlife Center tells the story of the Wildlife Sanctuary and it, it tells it talks about um, how the sanctuary was formed and it talks about the, the different um, flora and fauna here in the sanctuary. So this just makes it more accessible to uh, our local people and to tourists who, who will enjoy it. Mayor Young says he's expecting this next phase to take several years and there is no knowledge at this time of how much it is going to cost. He says they're going to try to exhaust all of the sources they have to make sure it's funded appropriately. Reporting live in Walterboro, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.